Tech company NVIDIA is launching a new chip, the H200, continuing the company's investment into AI technology, but like some of its other products, it won't be ex exported to China. Here to talk more about unveiling of this new chip is Dan Howey back again. Back again. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a, a new chip from NVIDIA, the H200. Let me just go over some of the 200 yes, stuff here. So there's the H200, that's the chip. Then there's the HGX200 platform. That includes four to eight H200 chips on its own. And then uh, we have the GH200, which is the H200 chip, and then a Grace CPU. GH is Grace Hopper. Uh, they have the Grace Hopper Super Chip. Uh, it's their own CPU and GPU smashed together. And that's the GH200. They already have a, a version of this with the 100. But I think, you know, one of the big things to point out here uh, is that according to NVIDIA, at least, this has 2.4 times more bandwidth compared to the NVIDIA A100. Uh, also important to point out is this, this is using what's called HBM memory. That's high bandwidth memory. It has 141 gigabytes of that. What does that mean? Well, the more memory you have, the more you can cram into these kinds of chips and processors, and that means you can run larger AI models. But <laughs> worth pointing out, AMD has its own chip that has more memory than this new NVIDIA chip. Now, that's the, uh, it's the MI300X. Just throwing it out there, the X on there. Uh, those uh, chips are going to be start uh, start shipping later this year. Uh, the the big deal here is Nvidia still has a huge lead when it comes to AI chips. They're going to hold on to that. Anybody that I've spoken to has said, look, it's going to take quite a while for companies to catch up to what Nvidia has to offer. It's not just their their silicon capabilities. It's how they put their servers together. They've they've purchase so many companies along the line that fill into this space. And then on top of that, it's the software as well. So, you know, when you're a company that has from the, the silicon to the software, you can control everything in there. And so if you want to improve the capabilities of, of one piece of that, you can go ahead and do that. You don't have to call another company and be like, hey, can you fix this? I need, you know, X, Y, Z for my software or whatever. You just say, Charlie, go do it. I don't know who Charlie is. Maybe he works for this company or I don't know. <laughs> uh, but that's kind of the key here. And so that's, you can think about it the way Apple does things with their their mm. own chips, right? They they put it into their iPhone so it's better. So that's the idea here for NVIDIA and why they still have this lead and why they will probably hold on to it going forward. I feel like we need like an alphabet soup graphic, like a it's bowl nuts, of man. soup with all the different, um, <laughs> you know, I know it's not apples to apples at all, but we recently heard from Qualcomm, which had introduced what it says is a much faster chip. Now that mm -hmm. was a CPU, not a GPU mm -hmm. chip. But when these various companies, particularly the chip makers, come out and say, our new chip does X, Y, Z, how do we find out, is, it, is the proof just in the market and what yeah. the uptake is? So when NVIDIA comes out and says, this chip is gonna have this much AI computing capacity, is it just, do we just find out when people start buying it and yeah. using it? Basically, you know, you'll get companies that will buy them and then benchmark them. Mm. It's kind of the same way as, you know, like I would buy an Intel chip, right, for my desktop computer that I would build, right? I would then benchmark that using some kind of freeware apps out there. I do it because, you know, I play games and I want it to be great. Um, they'll do that with these chips as well. They'll run similar benchmarks and they'll say, this is better here, this is better there. And then if it's, you know, good for NVIDIA, they'll publicize that probably and, you know, say, hey, you know, this third party company had said we're Got X it. better. Uh, Intel will do the same thing with their Gaudi chip. Uh, AMD will do the same thing with their own chip. So they're all going to go around and constantly say, we're winning here, we're winning there, we're winning over there. The, the truth is NVIDIA is just doing this and they've been doing it longer. So they have the expertise to be able to stay ahead. Like I said, they're going to they're gonna stay there for a little bit. NVIDIA and, and AMD, uh, sorry, Intel and AMD trying to catch up. And, you know, AMD has that that GPU expertise that they got when they bought Radeon years back, so they still can do that. Um, Intel trying to work on its own GPUs uh, and continue to put that out. They have the expertise with the CPUs. That's a, a big thing to, to keep in mind. NVIDIA's got the GPUs. That's great for AI. You can't have a GPU run on its own. It needs a CPU, and that's where Intel comes in. So whenever we talk about AI, yeah, they don't have the GPU side, but they still, all these companies need these CPUs and they need Intel for that. Yep. Dan Halley, and we need you to help explain yeah. all this stuff to us. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you.